Roy Davis is like your grandpa or favorite uncle, kind and generous. He'd give you a shirt off his back. And Ginger Gaff says her uncle's big heart caused him to end up here in a hospital bed fighting for his life. Because of the graphic nature of the pictures, we've made them black and white. It's a real, real hard subject to really talk about, you know. Davis says the man who nearly ended his life is named Mark Winder. Oh, I've known him for a couple of years or so. He'd come by and help me a little bit and give him a little bit of money to help me clean my garage up to help him pay probation. And Davis says last week, Winder asked to borrow a tire iron. Only there, and when I turned around, I reckon he knocked my brains out with the tar right there. He was then dragged inside his home and continually beat while the suspect demanded money. He said he drug me around in a house, had me tied and bandaged up with old tape. But he had to play dead to keep the boy from beating him anymore. The 78-year-old needed more than three dozen staples in his head. But that's not all. Arm broke. And worst of all, he lost one of his eyes. When Davis finally woke up in the hospital, Ginger says, amazingly, he was his old happy-go-lucky self. Yeah, he was actually in a good mood. He was flirting like he always does. He was ready to come home. Winder is facing numerous charges, including aggravated assault and aggravated battery. Deputies have also arrested a second suspect in the case, Cynthia Miller. I couldn't believe it. I still can't believe it in my mind today that your boy would do something like that. Detectives say more arrests may be pending. In Newton County, Bernard Watson, CBS 46 News.